Hello there fam, welcome to Dad Mode Game Time, where we take a look at video games that can teach our young gamers a skill, a life lesson, or give them a role model. Today we're looking at Dark Souls by From Software Games. Come on, let's go take a look. Dark Souls is a legendary game. It sparked a new genre, the Souls-like. Dark Souls and other Souls-likes demonstrate tough but fair gameplay. The game is strict with its rules, but never breaks them. The pace is steady. Everything's thought out. If you're not paying attention, it's game over. The point of this brutal game is simple on the surface. You are the chosen undead. It falls upon you to make a sort of pilgrimage to the waning land of Lordran to determine the fate of all undead. Your hold on your identity and sanity is entirely in your hands as you face monsters, demons, and the hollowed undead. Undead who gave in to despair, lost their motivation, or lost their reason for living. The hollow undead are mindless like animals and are a constant reminder that many who have tried to find the undead's fate have failed. Will you be the next in a long line of failures? Throughout the game, you fight and kill enemies, gather their souls, and consume them at bonfires, a place where you can rest and replenish your resources. However, there's a catch. If you die, you lose your souls and are returned to the last bonfire you used. Every time you rest at a bonfire, the enemies you killed revive. Fight through them all again and find your souls at the scene of your death. But if you die before reclaiming them again, they're gone for good. Your souls make you stronger, increasing your stats. They're also good for currency and used to upgrade your gear. So don't lose them. So, why play this brutal, dreary game? On the surface, this game is great for teaching patience and thoughtfulness. Lack of patience and planning will get you killed, no matter how strong you are. But there's more to it than that. You can find any combination of weapons, armor, and spells to help you. Find your kit, learn to use it, and take your time. And you'll get better. You'll find out that you can win. This can be a big boost to your gamer's self-image and self-esteem. I'll never forget finding my weapon of choice, the halberd. It's a simple thrusting weapon with no fancy moves. Once I started with it, I found that I could get things done. I learned that I don't have to be fancy to be effective. And as somebody who worries about being good enough, it was a relief to see myself conquering this game. By persisting in this game, I found that with time and effort, I could still persist. Some sessions I would struggle to gain just a few feet. Other days I'd blast through whole sections of Dark Souls. But I knew as long as I didn't give up, I'd crack it. I wasn't going to go hollow. Honestly, it's the number one reason I'm recommending this game. If your gamer struggles with their self-worth, they might discover that in the face of a world turned against them, they're capable of facing it all and winning. Dark Souls is relentless. It doesn't cut you any slack, and it won't give you any breaks, and there's no secret shortcut to winning this game. You just find out what you can do, you power through, you practice, you get better. And I think that's valuable. And that's why I think you guys should play Dark Souls, and if any of you at all struggle to get up and get on with your day, don't give up. I'll let Andre of Astoria speak for both of us. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Dark Souls Remastered is on PC, Xbox, PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch for about $40 at full price. As always, let me know if you try it and what you think. If you don't, let me know that too. And whatever you're playing, I hope you're having fun. We'll see you next game time.